So a fun element of this isn't just putting on a golf tournament for amateurs at a high level, but it's also opportunities for families to be involved and come out and do stuff even on weekend or holiday events uh, such as this one for Thanksgiving. Yeah, it makes Thanksgiving a little better because where we're from is kind of a small town, so it's fun for us to come hang out and the resort, the casino we stay at is really fun. And then obviously the golf's good, the weather's good, so it's a good family trip. And then the older brother can make it out for this one too, so it's even better to have everyone here. It is more exciting when they're here and it makes it a little more fun for sure. Yeah, they have a week off school and so it's nice that we're able to just um, hang out and do the golf but we have a lot of free time so we're playing games and just hanging out so it's real good. Our family revolves around golf so my poor wife someday she may have to start playing again too but uh, yeah so it's a great vacation for us and if he's going to be doing this over Thanksgiving break we want to spend time together so and then it's so fun watching kids at this level being so good. The competition at this tournament is solid so it's fun to watch. Fun coming out to Arizona get to be at the uh this nice resort, get, uh, have a nice casino there too, so that's fun. But yeah, it's just nice being able to get the family together somewhere. Best of both worlds, get a little vacation during Thanksgiving break too. I think that's a cool thing about college and amateur golf in general is um, it's a really tight community. It's uh, uh, We have families out here, we have friends out here, you have, you have teammates that maybe wanted to come down and, and go to these events um, together and, and have a nice time of it. and and kind of get away from maybe the normal grind that they have as a family and then do something on the road and, and do what that kind of bonds you together with. You've played in the Gobbler for quite a few years now. What is the, the draw for you that you like to come out for this one? Oh, the weather's good. Not too far of a drive from Albuquerque. And the guys that host it's great. So Wilo's great. And then we also play our first event in January here too. So it's just good to come see it before we really play it for the collegiate event. So we just want to play as many tournaments as he can. And then, of course, coming out here in 72 degrees and very little wind in uh, December is not bad. Tucson isn't the only place where there is that vacation type of component that you could add to a Saguaro amateur event, right? They're, all of them have that type of component. Yeah, whether you're going to Palm Desert, uh, Indio, Palm Springs area for the Agave, um, you know, in, in just over a month from now, we've got our brand new Grapevine Amateur at Silverado. I already know of, of families and, and um, parents of the kids that are, that are making it kind of a unique little trip to wine country. And um, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And, that, and that's kind of a nice um, subset of what we do with having competitive events is, is we do them in great locations. And, and obviously the Troon Golf experience with it um, is a real positive. Um, they'll play some golf even in the afternoons or something like that. So it's just a fun, uh, fun thing for everybody.